Hello everyone. In this video lecture, I'll be talking about the reactions of uh, alkanes and preparation of alkanes. So they are commonly called hydrocarbons or they are also called saturated hydrocarbons. So by the end of this video, you will be able to learn how to prepare alkanes and you will be able to uh, know that what are the reactions that alkane can undergo so students should be able to understand our learning outcomes from this video or describe a homologous series and its general characteristics describe the alkanes as a homologous series of saturated hydrocarbons with the general formula cnh2 and plus 2 draw the structure of bronzed and unbronzed alkane c1 to c6 and m unbronzed c1 to c10 define different methods of preparation alkane this is the main part of this video and describe the properties of alkanes as well as reactions. So, some abbreviations in alkane. Hydrogenation. Hydrogenation means addition of H2. Addition of hydrogen is called hydrogenation. Dehydrogenation is called removal of H2 or removal of hydrogens. The next is deduction. Addition of hydrogens. That is, excuse me. Nitration, addition of nitric acid plus sulfuric acid. Sulfonation, addition of sulfuric acid. Halogenation, addition of iodine, bromine, fluorine, or chlorine. These are the some abbreviations that you might uh, face when you are reading a textbook of organic chemistry. You often see hydrogenation, dehydrogenation, reduction, nitration, sulfonation, halogenation. All that means is addition of hydrogen for hydrogenation removal of hydrogen from for dehydrogenation and reduction is removal of hydrogen nitration is addition of nitric acid and sulfonation is addition of sulfuric acid and halogenation is the addition of iodine bromine fluorine and chlorine next is by hydrogenation of alkenes and alkynes alkenes and alkynes on catalytic hydrogenation give alkenes for example this is alkene so if you reduce alkenes in the presence of a catalyst at high temperature you will get alkanes so basically you are converting pi bond into sigma bond and alkenes are called unsaturated hydrocarbons so you are removing their degree of unsaturation by doing catalytic reduction and and you are adding a one sigma bond so the molecular formula is CH2CH2 so C2H4 but for alkanes it becomes c2h6 okay similarly any alkene can be de, uh, reduced with a catalyst and that reaction is called uh, hydrogenation so you are supplying hydrogens you know to the alkenes and you are preparing alkanes so that is a one method which you can apply to prepare alkanes what is that you can reduce alkenes to get alkanes okay Moreover, similar to the previous reduction of alkenes, you can reduce alkynes into alkanes, but that will require extra step. For example, if you have an alkyne, then you will reduce it, you will get alkene, and then you can reduce alkene into alkanes. Next is also alkyne. So this was a, a alkyne substituted on both sides are groups and this is simplest member of alkyne is ethyne so when you are reducing ethyne by using 2h2 instead of writing all of these uh, reaction scheme twice in the presence of nickel at high temperature you do get the product that is called ethane next is also you can also prepare cycloalkanes from cycloalkenes like for example this is cyclohexene you are reducing it in the presence of a catalyst doing hydrogenation you will get the cycloalkanes as product so that is the number one method of preparation of alkanes by the hydrogenation of alkenes and alkynes okay let's move on these number two is uh, by the reduction of alkyl halides so alkyl halides on reduction with new hydrogen form alkanes rx 2h so you can reduce alkyl halides replace the x x means any halogen fluorine chlorine bromine iodine with hydrogen so the product will be rh 
that is the reduction of alkyl halides and to get the alkanes. Another method is the new hydrogen may be obtained by any one of the following uh, methods. So the spelling of following is incorrect as I am using someone else PPT from the internet. So sorry for that. So zinc plus HCl or zinc plus uh, acetic acid can be used. And as you can see in the previous slide, if you react zinc and HCl, you get zinc chloride plus H2 that is nascent hydrogen make reduction and for example this is now your alkyl halide 2 fluorobutane if you react it with zinc and H plus you will get alkanes so the uh, method of preparation of alkane second method uh, is from the reduction of alkyl halides so first method was reduction from alkenes and alkynes that is called hydrogenation of alkenes and alkynes now this is the second method was the reduction from alkyl halides. Okay. Third method is by reduction of alcohols, aldehydes, ketones and their derivatives. So if you have an alcohol, any alcohol, if you react it with red phosphorus, red P means red phosphorus plus 2HI at 200 degrees centigrade, you will obtain alkanes. If you re uh, reduce aldehyde with red phosphorus, and for HI at 200 degrees centigrade you will get alkanes if you have a ketone and react it with red, red phosphorus at 200 degree elevated temperature you will get alkanes and if you have carboxylic acid and react it with red phosphorus at high temperature you will get the alkanes as a product so alkanes can be synthesized from alkenes alkanes can be synthesized from alkynes Alkanes can be synthesized from alkyl halides, alcohols, aldehydes, ketones, and acids. Okay, so this is this is the reduction methods. Mainly we have studied so far three methods of preparation of alkanes. And by the way, you can also reduce the ketone and aldehyde by using Clemenson and wolf kishner reduction. These are the two types of reduction which reduce the carbonyl group into CH2 group. Number four, by reduction of carbonyl compounds. Okay, here we go. The reduction of carbonyl compounds by am amalgated zinc and concentrated HCl also yields alkane. This is Clemenson reduction. So this is aldehyde and you react it with zinc, HCl, uh, mercury and HCl. You reduce the aldehyde carbonyl group into alkanes similarly if you can reduce the ketonic carbonyl group into ch2 unit and also you can reduce the carboxylic acids into alkanes by using clemens and reduction um, carbonyl compounds may also be reduced by uh, reduced alkanes by wolf kishner reaction so if you have this ketone and react it with hydrazine you will make hydrazones and then you react with ethanol and sodium at 200 degrees centigrade you will get alkanes as a product so alkanes can be obtained by reduction of Clemenson reduction and wolf kishner reduction number five is a uh, Woods reaction a solution of alkyl halide in ether on heating with sodium gives alkane so rx plus 2na plus xr dry ether rr plus 2nx and next is an alkyl halide on Woods reaction leads to the formation of symmetrical alkane having an even number of carbon atoms two different alkyl halides on Woods reaction give all possible alkanes so Woods reaction <coughs> can be used to prepare symmetrical alkanes from two alkyl halides so you would need two similar alkyl halides so R could be CH3, CH2, CH3, CH3 or it should be simply methyl chloride or ethyl chloride or propyl bromide or butyl bromide and the two equivalents of these alkyl halide react with sodium metal to give you the alkanes as a symmetrical product okay the different steps are involved in Woods reaction so first step is reaction of uh, sodium with first alkyl halide to give you alkane this one there are some limitations of Woods reaction methane cannot be obtained by this method the reaction fails in case of tertiary halide so mechanism the mechanism of Woods reaction is although not clear however two mechanisms are proposed for this reaction involving intermediate formation of an organometallic compound so 
cold based electrolysis method it's another method of preparation of alkanes so alkanes are formed on electrolysis of concentrated aqueous uh, solution of sodium or potassium salt of saturated monocarboxylic acids so this is a saturated monocarboxylic acid salt if you do electrolysis of this you will get alkanes at anode and sodium hydroxide at cathode number seven method of preparation of alkanes is by Grignard reagent so organic compounds in which a metal atom is directly linked to carbon atom are known as organometallic compounds for example this is ethane is an organic compound but metal is directly linked with carbon now this sodium methyl methylene uh, ethylene is called organometallic compound similarly if we have a tetraethyl lead it's an organometallic compound Similarly, if we have diethyl zinc, it's again, it's a organometallic compound. So alkyl or aryl magnesium halides, RMGX, MG is magnesium, X is halogens, R is any alkyl group like ethyl, methyl, propyl, butyl, are also called Grignard reagents or organometallic compounds because they contain organic part as well as metal part. That's why we are calling it organometallic. Grignard reagent on double decomposition with water or with other compounds having active hydrogen attached to oxygen, nitrogen, fluorine or triple bonded carbon atoms are known as active hydrogens give alkane. For example, if you react Grignard reagent with water, you will get alkanes. If you react Grignard reagent with amines, you will get alkanes. Reactions of alkanes. So far, we discussed eight methods of preparation of alkanes. Now we are going to study the reactions of alkanes as alkanes do not contain any functional group. Their reactivity is basically no, they are non-reactive, inert, but still they do give some sort of reactions. Let's discuss them. One is the most common type of reaction that alkanes undergo is halogenation. So you take alkanes and react it with uh, halogens like chloride, bromide, fluoride, iodide in the presence of heat or sunlight. So the substitution reaction takes place. So from alkanes you can prepare alkyl halides and from alkyl halides you can prepare alkanes. So the process is reversible. For example, if you have a CH4, if you react it with Cl2, first you will get methyl chloride. One of the hydrogen of methane will be replaced with chlorine. And in the next step, again similar to the first one, one hydrogen of methyl chloride will be replaced with chlorine you will get methylene chloride and next step you will replace one of the hydrogen of methylene chloride with chlorine and you will get chloroform and in the last step you will react this with cl2 to get ccl4 that is carbon tetrachloride so all of the hydrogens are replaced with chlorine atoms by halogenation of alkanes and it's a free radical reaction so and another example is the same, you can add as many uh, uh, different halogens to the alkanes as you want. Next this reaction type of reaction is nitration. You can do nitration of alkanes in the presence of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid. You will get nitroalkanes. Next is sulfonation, you will get uh, by reaction with sulfuric acid, you can sulfonate the alkanes. Fourth type of uh, reaction is insertion of methylene group. If you react alkanes with diazomethane, you will get alkanes by this type of reaction. So these are the four common types of reaction that alkanes undergo. So in this video, I hope I have covered the preparation methods of alkanes and reactions of alkanes. But if you have any further questions or comments, please uh, tell me in the comment section of this video. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.